Hi, I'm Eric Wolf, and I'm here today to talk with you about the Evo G-Series modular hot end. The G-Series is a significant improvement over the standard Evo hot end. It improves printing precision, reliability, and it works well with complicated materials like TPU, TPE, and nylon. We've made significant improvements over the original Evo hot end by increasing the rigidity of the unit, machining independent Delrin and PTFE feeders, and creating several cooling channels through the hot end to cool both the radiators and the planetary drive motors. Here's a shot of the hot end without the fan cover. You'll notice two independent feeding arms compared to the one solid unit on the original Evo hot end. The feeding arms are tensioned with a die spring that keeps optimum tension on the filament in between the drive gear and the arm itself. Now also, with these machined feeders, we've created an opening for the filament to smoothly run inside. Now in this particular example, we have Delrin feeders, and for most materials, the Delrin works very well. Uh, we run polycarbonate, ABS, PTG, nylon uh, through these feeders. When we want to run soft materials, materials that can vary a lot in diameter, we use uh, Teflon feeders. So right here, we have machine Teflon feeders, and they also incorporate a die spring as well. The die spring helps keep optimum tension on the filament as it passes through the hot end. In addition to the feeders on the G-Series, we also increase the thickness of the pivoting bracket. The pivoting bracket is an integral part of the hot end. It connects the drive system to the heated components. When the machine auto levels and when it prints, the integrity of the pivoting bracket is very important. So what we did is the original pivoting bracket was a quarter inch. So right here we have the original quarter inch pivoting bracket uh, on the Evos. And this bracket works well, but to increase performance, we went to a 3 8 inch billet aluminum bracket. And you can see both of these are uh, machined. The 3 8 bracket is actually only a half an ounce heavier than the 1 quarter inch bracket. And that's because we've machined airflow channels into this bracket for both cooling the drive motors and for better cooling of the filament as it uh, is fed into the hot end. When we cool the motors more, we actually prolong the longevity of the motors and there's less chance of extrusion errors during the print. We've also lowered the position of the motors with respect to the filament on the newer brackets so that we have a more direct drive of the filament into the heated components of the hot end. Now the 3 8 inch, you can see a side-by-side -side comparison, gives us substantial rigidity increase over the original quarter inch brackets, which helps printing precision and auto leveling precision. To explain the components of the hot end, we have the drive motors here with the planetary reduction gearboxes. We have the pivoting bracket, the individual CNC machined feeding brackets, and the radiators, the hot end components, and the insulator. In the front, this plug goes to a fan which constantly cools the radiators on the hot end. Some of you have already upgraded your Evo series to the G-Series module hot end. For those of you that haven't, uh, a way to check clearly is you can look at the top of your hot end and if you have a solid polycarbonate piece, you have the original uh, Evo series hot end. And if you have the G-Series, you'll have two independent feeders with a die spring between them. To find out more information about the G-Series hot end, check out our website at airwolf3d.com, look under shop, and you'll find the G-Series modular hot end available and the resources to help you with the replacement.